I remember drawing in my diary things I wanted to be. I would always draw artists and, and then, and I just knew, I mean, I've always known. It's just part of who I am, I have to do it. The move from Boston to Santa Fe, it's an adjustment. I wanted to try something new. Out here, if you say you're an artist, people respect that a lot more. They don't think you're a slacker. They're just like, oh, cool. What do you do? Some of the stuff I've created since I've been here has been really a kicking off point. And now I'm kind of at this point where I've started this series and I can't stop. Everything is a series for me because I'm kind of building off of one idea. It's based on 15 drawings I did during my time at the stay program in May. The mountains are everywhere and that's something that's very different as far as scenery goes because I'm used to big tall buildings. They're really like abstracted wild landscapes and it was reconciling Santa Fe's mountains, things like that, New Mexico, and then this line work which has become kind of a symbol in my work for me and my life experience. In the original drawings, there's all this text and it's basically journal entries, and I'm removing that and seeing if they can speak for themselves. I am a printmaker and that's a very process-oriented thing. I've always kind of been very interested in letting materials kind of speak for themselves and keeping them true to what they are. I generally don't use um, really fancy stuff, like I love Graphite, I think, is the most beautiful thing on the planet. I like water media. I like ink and stuff because you can drop water into it. You can dilute it really easily. You can move it around. It's all very organic. I like simple materials to do interesting things. I took mylar, which is like a heavier um, kind of plasticky material, and just drawing on them with these water-soluble pencils and then going back in with acrylic ink and kind of just going back in with color filling. I like things kind of elegant and not overly heavy or anything. I want a lot of space in them, but you can kind of navigate through them. I have an active imagination. For me, making art is a way of controlling things, even now, even though I'm kind of just letting things come more organically. Having the control over what I'm making and what I'm allowing people to see. For me, I'm controlling what I'm expressing to them. I think you can find beauty in a lot of places you wouldn't expect it. Like there's those Polynesian current charts for the oceans. It's just a bunch of sticks and they're gorgeous. When something really beautiful and wonderful happens, I'm like, wow, this is like the most amazing thing in the world. You may not realize it at the time. You might think you're doing a doodle and it might end up being this huge emotional breakthrough. The thing that affects me most when I see a piece is what it makes me feel. If you put like real, honest feeling into it, I think it translates.